Now that we have discussed how you can change the mouse pointer on your user form, the next thing that we're going to talk about is how you can add a custom mouse icon to your user form. Now if you notice when you're looking at the mouse pointer options, we saw that there was one at the very very bottom that said 99 form mouse pointer custom. Now in order to use this option though, we need to first implement a mouse icon into the user form. So we have the feature here or property that says mouse icon and yours may say none, mine already says icon because I have selected an icon. But what you want to do is go on and select the icon, go on and click this command button right here the three dots and what you want to do is select a file that will be appropriate from what I've seen there aren't many help tutorials out on the internet regarding this however I've noticed that the the only images that typically work are the cursor file cursor files which are usually noted by dot cur so if you're interested in creating your own custom icon First, look into how to create a cursor file or a .cur file because any other file that you select, like a, let's say a GIF, a GIF file will not work. If I was to try to import the crop.gif file that's right here, we'll, see, we'll get a, an error telling us that could not set the mouse icon property. The picture type is not valid. But if I go on and select a cursor file, let's just say that we do uh, have one right here that says openhand.cur and select that we're able to add it and there isn't any kind of issue with it. Now having this value set at 99 which is the custom icon I can hit F5 right now and hit play and we'll see when I hover over my user form I now get that custom icon that I just set up on to the user form. So again you can you can modify this during runtime not necessarily the icon but the the pointer although I'm sure you can change the mouse icon I'm not I haven't looked into that or discussed it in this video, I'm just talking about how you can create and modify it to a custom pointer icon. I'm going to set this back to zero, but during runtime, this is what I'm going to show you. I had created this code in the previous video where we have the mouse pointer changing to an hourglass while this code is being executed. Instead of us changing it to an hourglass, let's just change it out to the custom icon we just created. So we can scroll down and select form mouse pointer custom so I'm going to hit F5 or play and if I click this command button now while the code is being executed we see the custom icon on our screen and it's only going to be when you're hovering over the user form if you hover off the user form you don't see that icon anymore it's specific to this window